Oh, yeah, yeah, we found it, guys. Hello, clones, and welcome to the seventh episode of my Minecraft Let's Play series. And a lot has changed since the last episode. And if you notice, I'm fully blue. I have no more iron armor because I'm fully enchanted diamond armor. Then I have an enchanted sword. I added looting 3 to it. Then I have a pickaxe with mending. I retrieved my old bow by enchanting again. I have a pretty good shovel. And now over here, one of the biggest things that has changed is that instead of only having one rock, I have four rocks, each with one villager. But this villager is the most annoying. So before, so in the last episode, you saw how there's a baby in here. The baby grew up to become a cleric, but he didn't give the ender pearl trade, so I had to get rid of him. Then the second cleric I put in did the same, so I also got rid of him. Here's the fourth cleric I have. Yeah, here's just some trading material. Uh, then this guy is a librarian with soap touch. He says riptide, but I don't really need it. Uh, mending from this guy. And unbreaking three and flame from this guy. Okay, and our villager breeder has been doing really well. I really like how these villagers, uh, okay, wait a minute. I really like how these villagers are becoming uh, taiga villagers instead of plains villagers. Like, not all of them are plains, but look at this. These two are taiga villagers. Like, I really like their outfit, which is really nice. Okay, now I'll just cover up this hole because I don't want any bad things to get in there. Okay, so our, we have... We're pretty safe now with our armor, but now I'm thinking that we should locate a stronghold. But in order to do that, I'm gonna need some ender pearls, and I also want to clear out my inventory. <clears throat> so there are a couple of things I want to do before I locate a stronghold. First, I'll need a whole bunch of ender pearls, so I'll need lots of emeralds. Luckily, I have a, a zombie spawner farm. Which is where I get a lot of rotten flesh. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna need are as many ender pearls as we can get. But now we're at level 30 so we could do some enchanting. But let's get all the ender pearls we could get. 12. That should be a good amount, I think. But let's put all the rotten flesh that we didn't use in here. Yeah, let's make sure that I covered his face. Okay, good. Because if a pillager shoots him, uh, it won't be good. But since we're at level 30, we could do some enchanting. But I did bring a lot of obsidian, so I'm going to be needing uh, at least 20 pieces in order to create a nether portal and link it up properly in case it doesn't link on its own and they also want some ender chests so let's take uh, okay we're going to be needing six of these perfect put six in here and we have 12 eyes of ender okay perfect now the next thing i want to do aren't two ender chests because i want them so let's just plop, plop, plop. And I think I'll put this ender chest maybe right next to the bed. Like so. And I'll keep uh, nine. So what I usually do, I keep all my other ender pearls in the ender chest. I only carry one at a time. I'll put that in there. Okay, so since I am at level 30, I'll just put the... No, okay, never mind. So since I am at level 30, we could do some enchanting, which I really want to do. I could enchant my axe. 
You don't see me carry my axe because since I haven't enchanted it, I always prefer to enchant the tools before I start using them. But sometimes I don't do that. I, I'm not really sure when I didn't do that, but sometimes I don't. Maybe with the shovel. Let's see, what can I get? Protection 3, okay, sure. For, who would put Fortune 2 on that? Okay, that's all we could enchant. But you know what? Uh, wait, which one of these things only has Protection 3? Uh, okay. Okay, should I do my helmet or my boots? Uh, I'm gonna do my boots. I'm not really sure why, but... Uh, okay, I'll just do my helmet. My helmet seems cheaper to do. Right? Okay, yeah. Okay. Now it's time to find this stronghold. I always hate doing this because most of the time I lose track of my ender pearl, but... Wait, why can't I throw it? Okay, yeah. Okay, so we have to head this way. I'm afraid we're going to bump into the ocean, so I'm gonna ha have my boat on the ready. this forward I think I lost a uh, sense of direction here let's just check it again so we can zero it oh, he's going backwards there's got to be here where did it go where did it go but it literally went right here so I think I found it now it's time to dig down. Okay, let's. Oh no, I only got 17 torches. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be really hard with only 17 torches. Spot the club. You should have actually done better things and actually. Uh, okay. Hopefully, it should be right here. The stronghold. And I only- Oh, guys! I found it! Yeah! Okay, we found Stronghold. Now we dig in. And we got Advancement. And we are immediately greeted by- Wait, uh, my inventory is literally so full. Okay, keep torches on hotbar. 
only use if absolutely necessary. Okay, I think I would want first want to go this way. Is there anything finally? And hopefully we can find. Okay, this is dead end. So we can probably try digging through the wall. Okay, nothing. Okay, no, nothing. Okay, I'll just remove this torch, and I can just block this off. Okay, now we must go, I think, this way. Okay, cobblestone stairs leading down. And a floating room with a creeper at the end. It looks very safe, indeed. Okay, there's a little bit of gold. Okay, and... Skeleton just died. Okay, perfect. We killed Skeleton. Okay, and a zombie. A whole bunch of zombies. A zombie villager. Okay. Uh, there's, there's so many zombies. Like, how? Are all of the zombies I've killed in my skill uh, my XP farm like coming back to me now? Like how's this even possible? I still hear more. Okay guys, I think I have found it. I hear some silverfish. And this room looks very bright, so I'm going to just build a sort of perimeter thingy. I don't want this to be my first step. Oh, yeah, we found it, guys. We found it. Okay, so first things first, we do flop. Okay, now that is safe. And I'll do it here. So this could be like the base of my nether portal, I guess. Let's make this room a little brighter. And let's bring out our little ender chest. Okay, we only have nine of these, but what I guess I should do, I'll just put all my eyes of ender on the portal frame. But do you know, when I watch people play Minecraft and they always find a stronghold, I literally always, they only, like, they, all the strongholds they find always have, like, 10 eyes of ender already put in. So all of the ones I find are just completely empty. But I got 10 bones, that's really cool. I can bone me a lot of stuff. Okay. I also got some snow from the mountains while I was at it. And let's get our good stuff. Okay, so now I'm so I think I have to go towards zero zero. So one, two, three. I'm not really sure if I'm going to link uh, my portal. Like, like I'm obviously going to link it. What I meant was I'm not sure if I'm going to actually build the Nether Hub thing I built because that's kind of a lot of work. I might build it later. So. Let me uh, write down the block I'm at. I have the coordinates. And let's see what happens. Is it safe? Wait, how's it raining in the nether? I don't get it. Is that some sort of visual glitch? Okay, I just turned up my brightness because the nether is really dark. Is there anything familiar around here? Let me just check my coordinates. Okay, yeah, this is really close, my friends. Real close. It's only like, uh, like 200 to 400 blocks away. Like, that might seem really far, but... Yes, I got so many, uh, their magma creams. Now I can make more fire resistance potions. Like, I only got three, but that's quite a bit. Let me see if there's anything up here. 
Okay, there's a red forest, which seems like a good sign because there's also a red forest at my base. But I think I'd much rather dig all the way to my base. So, I'll see you there. Okay, so I finally tunneled, tunneled out of the nether and I'm at my nether hub. I marked the entrance to my tunnel with uh, snow because apparently snow doesn't melt in the nether. And if you're wondering why there's a cow here, it's because he escaped while I was killing them off in my cow pen. And let's head back to our gorgeous island. Okay, let's go back. So it seems to be almost night time. And uh, what was I about to say? Okay, so I'm not gonna fight Dender Dragon like in the next episode or in this episode because there's a lot of prep that needs to be done because I've only fought it once before which is kind of embarrassing. Uh, but I'm gonna need a whole bunch of potions, uh, a couple of glass bottles so I can collect the dragon's breath. Um, what else do I need? I'm going to need a lot of golden apples. Wait, how much gold do I even have? That. Well, it's not that much. I can only make, I think, uh, like three golden apples. And that's him to swim with the dolphin and watch how fast. If I can actually control it. But I need three more ender pearls in order to actually uh, turn on the portal. So I can just, and luckily I have the right amount of emeralds for it. Let's see how much, uh, oh yeah, yeah, look at how fast it goes. Let's see how much uh, blaze rod I have. Okay. That isn't too much, but it isn't nothing either. So let's do this. We do this. Okay. So now we have three, which is really cool. And I'll just pop it in here. Okay, so another thing that we could build is a phantom farm. So we can get potions of slow falling. But I don't think we have enough time for that. And I think we've run out of time. So if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. See you.